I'm Ed McGovern III. I'm little Eddie's <laughs> oldest son. Um, and uh, I became little Eddie <laughs> after a while. Uh, my brother, Brian McGovern. So uh, our grandfather, um, Ed McGovern, as uh, Margaret mentioned, uh, was uh, one of the um, early members. In fact, we have an old charter from the band uh, with Dan McCormick and, and uh, maybe even some others in the room uh, who helped start the band, didn't know about the Butte, Montana history, which we're going to have to dig into a little bit. But anyway, our grandfather, uh, Ed McGovern, came from County Down, a uh, little uh, area called Burn, which is near Nury, if you know um, County Down in Northern Ireland. Uh, one of uh, the um, early illegal immigrants who uh, escaped from um, uh, being hunted, I think, we think, by both the British and the, um, the Free State um, uh, Army uh, because of his opposition and involvement, I think, in, in uh, being upset about the, um, uh, the, the deal with the British to, to carve out the North, uh, came through Montana. Escaped. We think he escaped with his brother Jack, dressed as a woman out of Ireland, we th think, right? He t was, uh, was supposed to be dressed as nuns. That's how they got out. Um, and uh, ended up eventually in San Francisco, part of the Pierce Connolly. Great history for us. Um, we have, um, there's some picture, a picture that I found of me at about four years old in the orange tie. Um, and my memory was I got to play the triangle because I couldn't, I couldn't do, I couldn't do the, uh, uh, the fife. I actually never did learn it. My dad was the musical one. We didn't get those genes. Um, uh, and my sister, Margaret, who now lives in, uh, actually in Amsterdam, was in the little um, outfit for the, um, the, I guess the marching, uh, um, yeah, the, the, the women's part of it. It's a little, little outfit. She was, I think I was four and she was two when our dad got, it us, uh, got us started. But as Margaret said, there's a picture in the back of my grandfather in that 1936 picture and uh, my dad uh, in the 1936 picture. So um, we have a, a couple of uh, very rough videos. I think this is a 1971. Um, sorry, there's no music to it. It's Super 8 movies. That's my grandmother from County Armagh. Um, you'll see, I think there's Dan leading the band. That might be the same year that you guys had in the 70s. Uh, it's our other brother, Kevin uh, McGovern. And then my dad playing uh, on the... On the, he, he, I guess that's, he must have. That's little Eddie playing. Yeah, the that's drums. little Eddie playing the drums. So that's, I think that's the '70s, and then I think we have one little clip from the '60s too. Yeah, this one I think is the 1960s. They're all wearing ties. Sorry about the focus, you guys. Just. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I don't think so. It, that's, yeah. yeah. So anyway, just a, c a couple of little clips. Um, so I have, uh, I have a lot of fond memories. I remember um, practicing at the Caribbean Hall um, uh, early on, and the Caribbean had a lot of significance to our family. My grandfather met my grandmother at the Caribbean Hall at a dance, and my dad and mom met at the Caribbean Hall and, at a dance, and, and then we, um, uh, at least we did, uh, Brian had a different experience, we practiced at the Caribbean Hall for, for a bunch of years down in the basement, I think we were. Um, and then our, uh, our family started nights catering, um, and uh, uh, many of the uh, parades, the St. Patrick's Day parades, the band would march and then come back to um, nights on both McAllister and then eventually on Golden Gate Avenue f after the parades, but uh, great memories and um, uh, and you know just fond memories for us. Right. I really don't have much to add. Um, hearing Dan's voice on the tape <laughs> brought back good memories. You know, by the right, quick march. Um, yeah, just uh, fond memories and um, always remember Dan. Just a very um, stoic and very proud of his Irish heritage and and impressed that on me for sure as as my grandfather did with Papa. Yeah.
So anyway, thank you. And, and Margaret, thank you for organizing this. And, you know, great job. We really, really